Let's do it, man. This one already looks interesting, man. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. Looks like some sort of confrontation. Oh, bro, this is... This is... Alright, let's do this. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Twelve dollars. can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? All of this is so cool, man. But, you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Oh, I really can't wait to get my hands on her. Not gonna lie. It's on like Donkey Kong. I'm glad we're okay, though. What is this? Is he having a nightmare? See around. Okay, good. He was having a nightmare. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. That's He'll not good. Be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, Pigby. Oh, that looks so bad. I figured I'd be uh, before you were conscious. Am I gonna be okay? I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. He's an immortal, though, right? Please, he should be Bigby, fine. Don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Okay. <laughs> Painful, but okay, I'll do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Don't do this. Uh, oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's uh, round two. He's gonna try it again. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I think it worked that time, though. You shouldn't be here. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Uh... Well, he should. But I can hear you. What even I can <laughs> you know, I can hear you. Quiet. Just relax. I should have just stayed quiet, but I don't know. I just felt like <laughs> I felt like saying that. Oh Excuse no, me, Miss White. But perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. Uh, and I need the space to work. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, we'd appreciate oh. the headroom. I should have just said I'll be fine. I was. We'll be done Confused. In a Just please give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. 
Helen, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Uh, Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Uh, with what? Your don't boots? distract the doctor. Please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open. Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. Yay! Great. This that looks habit you horrible. Do, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. <laughs> Look at all those holes poked around his chest, man. That's horrible. Duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Maybe he should heed that I warning. Will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep uh, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I, I can still hear you. <laughs> and still hear you. <laughs> Anyways, guard against. That's funny. As they say, Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. So, how straight do you, to um, alcohol. Feel? Uh, just fine it's and dandy. Big Snow. He'll be okay. Uh, Hell, I seen him take words. Like shit. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. Me too, actually. Oh, Snow, you're so pretty. You, uh. You stopped breathing, you know. Oh, wow. You passed out or... Or died, I guess. Damn. It, um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've uh. never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. I don't and die easily. I thought you were... I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you Hopefully were really this gives fucked her... up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Oh, God. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. I was trying to have, like, a little flirtatious moment. Days. We'll all get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? No, not really. And who should I be asking? Uh. Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Uh, this is a big thing right now. The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. You don't say. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. It was a split second. Thanks for decision, saving me. And I don't care how it looked. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks. She needs a lot of you're recognition for everything she's done. Or oh, that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. We're uh, all mad about it. Snow did what she had what to. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Ugh. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Uh, victims this are my about concern. Those girls. Yes, and it it'll is. Always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. We're making him have the a heart. Man declared war against us last night. 
At least that's what I thought when it happened. What do you but think now? now? I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. What do you? How do you mean? We need to do things the right way. What does that haven't mean? Haven't we doing right it the right way? way? What do you think I mean? I don't um, know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. We're doing our best here. can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. It has to be enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters. That's... To fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... Oh, God. That would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help He him. literally had no Just chance. that side of you be done, okay? I'm sorry, but I... Done and buried... And I'm sorry. I disagree. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? He would have there literally died degrees. otherwise. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby. I'm, Don't be such a I'm just going to stay quiet. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. He'll get the job done. I, I like Snow a lot, but flying to... straight as an arrow against something as big as we're, to let we're you facing. Do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. I you always had it. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? That's it's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps uh, everybody out of trouble. Calm, calm down, everyone. from Monday does see me, huh? Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. Yeah, you didn't really I'm sound not. calm. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? They're making me choose between both of them. That's kind of messed up. Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. He found something. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Uh oh. In Narissa. my office? Narissa. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well uh, with the uh, disenfranchised. She probably something knows about something. Your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. I don't think. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, you don't say. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Narissa. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't think she should... She's a piece of work. ...be doing two separate hey, jobs at once. you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Snow will change your mind. Know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. That's possible. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I really don't think she's handling all this well. Like, I get her her desperation and stuff, but sh this is not a time to be in that situation. We have to keep our heads straight, you know? Hopefully it all works out. Security office, be wolf. All right, this should be interesting. I wonder what we're going to find out. She looked worried. Telltale Games presents an awesome detective game.
This game is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. This game is making me so, so hype for the World of Among Us 2. I can't wait for that game. Should be really good. All right. Let's get down to the detective work then. Episode four, in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. I wonder what the na what the title's alluding to. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Yeah, we got clearly we got something to discuss. I, um, are you okay? Dandy. <laughs> you didn't look good last night. Uh, I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I've been better. Let's just say I've been better. <laughs> it, oh, God, yeah, you don't look too good. You need to stop smoking, bro. It's not good for you. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What are those shorties? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, let's hear Thanks. it. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Mm, perhaps. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Don't tell me she quit. Go ahead. Uh... It might work. Is this about the crooked You're man? You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Oh, God. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Aw. Uh, is this about Faith and Lily? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. This is about Faith and Lily. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Uh, look around you. Are my friends in danger? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. My lips are sealed. I could do this. I need you to know. I want to help, but. But. Your lips are sealed. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? I had a feeling that was something. Do you? Uh. It's a tool to control. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Huh. Maybe he has a form to monitor, perhaps? Uh, let's remove the... Let's remove the ribbon. You mind if I just... No! Lips are sealed! 
What? You can't. Just stay back. Oh god, yeah, it has something to do with the you ribbon. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please don't. I thought she was trying to <sighs> tell us to remove it. It kind of felt like okay. that's where she was leading to. I get it. Or maybe she was just trying to tell us. I don't know. I got the wrong impression, I guess. If you take them off. Your head explodes. Let's comfort her. I feel bad. I feel so bad. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Of course, my lips are sealed. I could be in a lot of trouble. Sure thing. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. It is snow. I think he I think she's about to get the wrong Sorry, impression. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. No, 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 we need to go Beauty and the Beast. I think she just insinuated that that's where we should look next. That was abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Uh, did you get anything from her? She told me enough. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. That was good. I think we so about beauty told her without having to tell her. There's something to it. Is this the right place to look? What I think so. Know about the crooked man. Or do you think they just heard about what's It's worth night? looking Even into. if there isn't much to it, it's still our best lead. It's worth looking into. I wanted to say Nerissa hmm. pointed at us, but I didn't want to... You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Give it all away. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Like the open arms. Bigby. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. Oh, we need to snap. Stop this That's true. Before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Why does she look mad? And why does she have to go all secretive? So Beauty and Beast's apartment. Oh God. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. They're arguing. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that. Was is this the apartment right here? It is. That doesn't mean I have to agree. We're gonna knock. We're not just gonna walk in. That'd be rude. Oh. What's up, Beast? Sorry how we left off before. Well. Um, just going around knocking on doors. You called? You called, right? Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Uh, can I? So have you, Big B. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. He's Who taking this... It? Granted, he's been lied to, but he needs to understand a little bit. Me? Can I talk to Beauty? You don't want to talk. Can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? How... How could you insinuate that, dude? You know we had nothing. It's your pal. Big B. And there Hi, it goes Biggie. again. That's messed Please up. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. I've... 
I I feel horrible. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> Alright, come on. I really hope we find something. That definitely looks like it could break. Talk about living in the past. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one. It's a it's a friendship thing. He's over here saying that we were keeping secrets. I feel I feel bad, man, but I don't at the same time. I think he's taking this way out of context. Oh look, there's the flower. Okay, we have to find something. If you want to talk, I think we'll talk. I think that's everything. Oh wait, this. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. It's a big chandelier for a small apartment. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, Damn. your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. Uh, what are you trying to say, huh? It's nice, that's Did all. Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. They do need help. The Crooked Man is like dangerous. This. I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Uh, what kind of trouble are you in? Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. Or both. Or multiple I things, know I should one say. Thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know um, if it's worth it. If you can't... If you're honest, I'll protect you. Assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting. A kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. They like it's to live a lot rich. Of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, let me just uh a day at the beach skiing the slopes <laughs> hold on and we can't hey, come to the phone right now here. so leave a I message should... at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible beep. oh god that fucking message i'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if i have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to uh, start thinking about how else you can settle this. Whose voice this is that? Time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The Crooked Man's gonna get his, one way or another. It's definitely not the Crooked Man. Someone who works for him, obviously, but who? I, want, I need names, dude. This is, that's a... That message was All pretty damning. Is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Oh. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Uh, I didn't know what to who's, do. Who's Jersey? You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, the Jersey Devil? Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. 
I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. Wow. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. Nope. There's a lot of that going around. Mary got the axe from there. He has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes. Why would you ever go there? Tables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money you don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there Damn. you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... And what? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Uh -huh. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Uh, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have Did to you deliver us. to the Crooked Man? We didn't think it would get like this. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town. But never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with Both this? of them are in Johan over their heads. the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not. Uh, I don't want Beauty to have to work. Is Especially Mary always there? Was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, and I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn no. right <laughs> you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. Yeah, this is... They're Which way in over their heads. Fight for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Why would they All come we want here? Is to make this place feel a little bit like home. Why not you just be at home? Bigby. Uh I don't need to. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. Well, my job is I didn't to keep Fable mean to Town answer safe. like that. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I think the... I think the butchers are best bet. If I'm completely honest, it seems like most of the activity, the serious activity... Uh, with the big people or whatever happens at the Lucky Pond. However, going there might put us in a situation where we could potentially get both Beauty and Beast hurt. And the Butcher, I think, might indirectly lead us to the big man himself. And if we could take the big man himself then I guess that kind of, you know, fixes the whole situation with the Lucky Pawn. So, but the problem with that is we could potentially get Beast in, in trouble. Although I think it's a little less likely. I don't know. It's obviously between the Lucky Pawn and the Butcher, but I'm not sure which one would have the lesser repercussions. I'm going to go with the Butcher, I think. Yeah, let's, let's go to the Butcher. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. That was a good point. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but 
Is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean, financially? What I do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Uh, can you help us out? I don't fix debts. Fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Dude, they. I'm not. No. Look, I like them and all, but they were the ones that made the mistakes. They need to fix their own mistakes. They're only snitching because they want us to help them. The only way I would probably help is in safety because they deserve that, but... Uh, stop smoking. He needs to stop anyways. I don't know. I didn't like the way they came about that, to be honest. They should be helped because it's the right thing to do, not because they're trying to get out of debt. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Uh, I don't know. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I would like to think right. it was none. Okay. What's on the menu? I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. This place is definitely suspicious for sure. I'll take that cola though. Lemon lime. Okay, we're not going in yet. Uh, do I want to push that? Let's just push it. See what happens. He's gonna be surprised. Pigby Wolf. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, he took a big gulp. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, sausage, soap, New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, uh, sirloin, ribs. Where's Mary? I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Straight to the point. <clears throat> What you see is what you get. Oh, just he's meat. He's asking don't for find it. Anything else? We just uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, uh, nothing here. And if I find and something, what if I do find something here? Because you haven't been straight with me. Really, sheriff, you won't. We'll see about that. It's I, time to look around, sheriff. I. Did you hear that? Uh, what? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold oh, on. no, 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 I, I no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to. Bigby needs to follow him like ASAP. Go. Shit. Oh, my God, dude. This is not going to end well. I imagine this would be hard to put a scent on things too, since there's a lot of, you know, meat everywhere. Just wait out front. I'll be right uh, I, I let's just jump. Let's just talk. Here. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. I bet she's trying to dispose of some evidence. Or at least hide it. Come on, damn it. Uh what's going on back there? I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Not his job. Or maybe he is his job, I don't know. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. Tap him on the shoulder. How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. 
I don't want to die. Please, uh, talk don't or else. Please don't kill me. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? Just a little threat don't, won't hurt please, anyone. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make uh, in the moment. Easy. What's behind the door? On a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm uh, supposed to do. Who locked the door? I've actually, I haven't been back there in years. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscle. Let him talk. Me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Victim, we'll see. I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. Oh, this I is. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. This is gonna end up very bad. Okay, I got no other option. Let's open the door. A giraffe is gonna come out of there. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I thought it was a trap for a second. A chemistry? Are they making drugs out of here? What is, what is this? Black forest soil, swine snout. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. What? Yeah, when he pushed the button. This business. It's all I've ever had. You helped him escape. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. He's lying. You can't, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Uh, I needed help. You're not clear yet. I need your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. I already think he is lying. He pushed the button to help them escape. We could have caught them. Uh-oh. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Oh, there's so much to look around. All right, let's start with these chains. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. <laughs> oh, this is all bad. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Man, this is insane. It all gets distributed uh, from here, looks it looks like, like. Math or something. <laughs> well, this is bad. What does this do? Oh, it's big. Oh, wait, is there, those are names. Shit. Is everybody on here? 
you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just hard. Uh, Things that must have gone on here. The crooked man's gonna pay. I get my hands on that crooked bastard. I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's the right. mirror. It was that creepy magic yeah, mirror figured. with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. I can't. He's, yeah. He took a piece. With stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Uh, can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? That's not None your concern. Business, butcher. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Canada. The Lucky Pawn. They probably... Crap. <laughs> we should have went there first. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Yeah, he's technically in really danger now. Do you this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. I agree. He's what in the danger. What am I supposed to do now? I'm ah, going to spend crap. The rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up. We'll my find a way to protect Report you. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. This is all bad, dude. We're getting everyone in danger. Oh my god. First Narissa. Then uh, Beauty and Beast. Now this man. Who's next? He should probably get going like ASAP. Who ruled the land? I guess we ended up in both Actually, places. Don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you I'm, uh, the guy who just gonna... Well, I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? He needs to chill. I didn't pawn it. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See uh -oh. you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking hell! Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? Probably sold How it. How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're <laughs> gonna... You piece We need of to stop them from fighting. Uh. Let's restrain. We'll restrain them. I wish I could restrain them both. Lit, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved uh, in this shit. I just want what's mine. What, what's wrong with you? What is your fucking problem? Just stay out of my way, all right? How you feeling today, Sheriff? <sighs> is he Still looking for whoever is he serious? Or are you done chasing your tail? Oh God! Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Oh God! Stop him! What are you? What? I'm the sheriff, dude. We're not just gonna let this happen. Yeah, he punched me, but they both deserve to be in jail at this point. 
This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, it's a troll. Whoa, what is this guy? Well, that's creepy. Uh, go, 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 stop him! Oh my god, we field gold his ass. That looks so cool, though. Don't worry. I will. He's gonna steal his axe back. Did we just break his back? Uh oh, spaghettios. Ah! Be nice! Time out! Time out! Oh god. He looks so cool though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna kill him either. Oh, we're gonna break his freaking antler. Oh my god, that looks so painful. <laughs> oh god, dude. Why do I get the feeling that Woody's gonna... Oh god. That Woody's gonna kill him. With his axe. Oh, snap. Hey, asshole. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Antler time. I mean, uh, anvil time. Oh god, he is strong. Oh! I'm, I'm pretty sure we murdered him. Well, he's not dead. That's good. Oh god. Don't don't do it. Oh, he's restraining Dick him. Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a uh. fucking Fucking mirror. Where do I find no, the crooked man? Fucking friends. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, what about the muffin man? House. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uh. uses this place like a fucking dump. Why are you telling Fucking me this? Bitch. Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have I all hate that he's calling me that. You fucking want. It's not going to help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. Is it now? Just go on. Get green shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Hey, at least Woody's helping me. Pocket number one. No a lot of money. Checks, huh? I'm taking it. You I'm taking it. Needing this anymore. What else is in pocket number two? That sick yeah. piece of. That doesn't surprise me. That dude's a creep, 100%. And behind, number three shard. is the shard, yes. It's the shard, finally. Right on. We got everything we need, then. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. That may be true, I but I can give them justice. Let's but hear him out. I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. 
You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Is that right? We have everything we need now. Out of smoke? <laughs> Let's just give him one. He did help me out for, for a second. We have a very complicated relationship, he and I. Shitty brand. What is with everyone saying You're welcome. or talking bad about the Huff and Puffs? I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Yeah, I could imagine. Jersey was wrong, you know. About, about what? what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. Oh, I know. Get the fucker who did exactly. it. Exactly. Give him justice. Ain't that the plan? Oh, I'm planning on it. Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. I'll go do it then. See, we have a very complicated relationship, he and I. What's, uh. You gonna be okay? Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. I kind of legit, like low key, I feel bad for him. Man, that mom, that that dude we just fought. I never, I don't know who it is, but he was pretty cool looking, man. Fable Town Business Office. Oh God, we're gonna put it all together now. Now we're gonna find out I where he is. Who killed the <gasps> prostitutes? If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, Sheriff you... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's happy. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Man, uh, what is wrong with the people in Fable Town? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? Oh, where I do I you were start? Going to report back to me. Uh, I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find Crane, out? Crane, use the mirror to find him. the mirror's him. fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Oh, I'm... Anyway... I'm sure no, of it, actually. Fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. He was a creep. Would you join me at the mirror? Yeah, of course. Don't go far, Sheriff. I feel I legit I feel bad for her. Words of my own with you. I'm uh, fuck off until I'm ready. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? Yeah, I don't like him. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience. Uh, so this process can it be was a at the lucky pond. touchy. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the lucky pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. Good. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Right on. Good stuff, which, man. He might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. A <laughs> uh, little poetic, actually. Is it fixed? 
Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? Probably the office. My business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're acting like children over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Can we just knock some sense into them? Help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Can we just give him some of the money that we stole from Crane? <laughs> Since I'm stealing money over here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. You just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda. Uh, but do you I'm know taking the... a real wallet because Do you know the Crooked Man? Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? Yeah, I'm I know. I'm looking for a handout. Just what's uh, what? Here, happy birthday. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money. Eh? I feel bad for destroying his car anyways. I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Oh, look, he's literally jumping for joy. She's not going to be happy. You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Dun dun dun. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I can't stand I him. I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. He did the you right know thing. That as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. I think it's the right thing. <laughs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them hmm. with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. Mm, I really I don't know. How did a person do that? I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Good. That means we have a direct have to line. I have to been the crooked better. man. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Uh. Is that a good idea? He's probably still waking up a little. Are you really sure you want to see him? I don't even know. I don't want to know what we're going to see. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. How does... How does she know? What just happened? That was we weird. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again. Okay. I guess she does have the Looks like we'll have to track him down abilities later. through right. the mirror. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. Uh, mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, the 
Where does Crooked Man hang out? Oh, this is a, that was a good. I don't Why is it upside down? The door, but that's a sign, though. Man symbol on it. Hold off. Oh, he moved. The door, it moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute, I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. I absolutely you agree. You can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run. I'll bring him back alive. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. He's definitely gonna stand trial. I stand by that. Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street. Time, night. Oh snap, we're here. Did it, did it move? Nope, sign's still there. Uh, let's just kick down the door. Oh snap, that actually startled me a little bit. Come on, baby, let's do this. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That's... Wait, what? Who is this Tim, guy? What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Does Thanks, he... by the way. For leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. What? Yeah, what's going on here? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Where the hell I am I? You're not here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. It's probably just a magical land or area I'm or whatever. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't right. make this hard. I'll follow you. Fine, lead on. He seems nice. Why is he mixed up in all of this? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a... You're a part of this? Or an escort, for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? That's, a good, that's what I'm... Is, yes. You? I want not, that answer. He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some <laughs> broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. You know, and if you're here, he's here willingly. It can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I don't really have a you sympathy for him. Not just minding the door. You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? That... really? No. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. Man. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Nah, fuck that. I don't have time for this. He's just as bad, just because he's... God bless us, everyone. That's gross, man. How can he back up a murderer? <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke? Uh oh. What did I tell you? Oh, Stop we're we're slamming in there. What the fuck? Holy shit! 
What's up, fellas? Miss me? Everyone's here. Oh, snap. Ah, there he is. I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't it's wait. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. Oh, he's going to flip it on me, isn't he? You can go now. Not that I care. He's just as bad as them. Well, maybe not just as bad, but he's definitely... He's got his hand just dirty. I like you the way see, the sheriff said it. Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Uh... No, you're coming with me. It's over. They're alive. You're coming with me. Oh, this is gonna be big. What's going on? Next time on The Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh, well. <clears throat> oh! Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. I, I think it was gonna, it was inevitable we we're gonna get into a final fight with her. Uh, did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85% decided uh, you should not go to the farm. Well, that's good. Uh, I don't like the idea of the farm. It just sounds like Nazi Germany. You know what I mean? I hate that, man. Oh my god, that's, it grosses me out that this is like a thing in Fable Town. But, okay, let's see. Did you attempt to remove uh, Nerissa's ribbon? You and 36% tried to remove the ribbon. Okay, I'm glad that I'm not alone. So that just tells me that I wasn't the only one that took her, what what she was saying, as uh, that she needs help removing the ribbon. But I guess that's not what she wanted. I don't know. I got that wrong impression, which is fine, and I'm glad I'm not alone on that. Which uh, crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 63% of the players went to the cut above first. Okay. Uh, did you... Send Toad to the farm. You and seventy-three percent of players decided. To, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't agree with the farm. That's why. That's why I gave him the money. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right thing to do personally to give him the money of the criminal. That was probably evidence. But. Uh, yeah, I don't feel bad that I didn't send Toad to the farm. I really feel like we did the right thing by keeping him. Uh, but let's see. Uh, how did you respond to the crooked man? You and eight, 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 just eight. 0.9% of players said uh, you're bringing him in. 8% of players? Really? That legit, that's really surprising. Okay, well, let's do the final chapter.